Hello guys, today I'm gonna be doing a video on The Last of Us Part 1 with the RTX 4090 and we're gonna be starting it off at 4K at the Ultra settings. Alright, here we are in the graphics menu, playing at 4K and this is the Ultra preset. Sixteen gigs of RAM, by the way. All right, let's jump into it so we can get. All right, here we are in the game. I'm going in blind, by the way. It's my first time seeing this game with the 4090 at 4K, but so far, sitting in the 80s, pretty great start to be honest. This game is very intensive on the CPU and GPU, so I'm kind of worried for 4040p. I think a bottleneck is going to be happening, but right, that's not really saying much in this game. You pair 4090 in this kind of game with any CPU. At some point, you will get bottlenecked. Especially at Final Fantasy P. Okay, this game looks fantastic at 4K, by the way. It looks incredibly sharp. It, I don't know, it looks incredible. I think at Final Fantasy P and 4K, this game just shines. At 1080p, it's fine, but it's nothing really special, even at the ultra settings. Um, I mean, it's good, but, you know, it just looks way better at Final Fantasy P and 4K. What's up, P? Anything? Whoa! The bridge. That's our way out of here. Nice little view there. All the cars are destroyed though. So far the game's not stuttering, lagging at all as you would expect. Okay, you know what? As soon as I say anything, dude, I'm cursed, I swear. Every time I say anything about stuttering, the game just... Ah, uh, starts stuttering. Now, so far we can play this game natively at 4K Ultra settings without an issue. But I think at 4K, you wanna use DLSS. Like, you might as well. It looks the same. Free performance. And... It will take some load off the GPU as well. You don't want to be pushing it too hard, you know? Wow. Yeah, you're really upset. Look at these dudes. Oh, they just can't leave us alone, huh? Just have to come out of their way and mess with us. Well, I got four bullets in this rifle, and there's three of them, so if I don't miss, this should be easy. Really? How do you guys know about that? Who snitched on our location? Uh oh. Alright, let's go and pause the game and enable DLSS. I'm not sure how much we can actually push the system or the CPU. But uh, I guess we'll find out in a second. But starting it off at the balance preset, we're going to be sitting at 130 FPS. I skipped the quality preset because, you know, balance and quality looks the same at 4K. But GPU is still fully maxed out and FPS is sitting in the 120s now instead of, what, the 80s and 70s. That's a great jump in performance. And CPU is sitting at 85% usage. That is insane. This game is very CPU intensive, but at least it uses up most of our CPU. So I can't really complain about it too much. But man, this game is so intensive, it's crazy. FPS is down into 100s now, GPU is sitting at 90%, CPU is sitting at 93% for a second. That is just, oh my god, it's mind blowing. I think this game and Battle for 2042 at this point will push the system to its limits. CPU will be sitting at 90% in that game, and at 440p I'm getting like 180, uh, 200 plus FPS actually I think. So, it runs great, but it is still very intensive. This is a single player game after all, so, you know. 100 FPS is pretty much overkill, but it is cool that we can actually do it. You don't see that? Cool, I just walk on by then. Wow, GPU is fully maxed out right here, and we're getting 90 FPS, just like before. So FPS would be in the 60s, I'm guessing, at this point. And we're pulling 280 watts on the GPU as well. That is very efficient. It's far less than the 3080 would be. Hey, buddy. Go to sleep. Okay, we got the little thing there on the wall. Um, let's go inside. More will die if you don't give us our food. Hmm. Fair enough. Same bullshit. I don't know. Now that we have enough people watching all the What's in here though? What's in the cabinets? Anything good? Some bolts and duct tape, which we can use to make a shiv. Make one more. Old body, what are you talking about? There's no bodies out there. I didn't kill anyone. I'm honestly surprised how well the CPU is handling this game. This game is very CPU intensive. I'm shocked that we're not getting bottleneck as bad as we are right now. It does happen at times, obviously, but I think for the most part it's running pretty great. And the quality obviously at 4K looks great with DLSS. Can't really see any blurring or smearing going on. It looks fantastic overall and very sharp as well, which is great. And I think normally I can go up to performance mode as well at 4K and the game will still look great. So, if you've got a faster CPU than this, which at this point, it is, I guess, not surprising, you should get far by the performance as well. Probably sitting in the hundreds at all times. He's got a helmet on. Okay. Maybe I can use a brick to distract him? Get him, get him, get him, get him! 
Yes, we got him. Not sure where we're supposed to go, but I'm just roaming around, exploring, and taking everyone out on the way, if I can. Uh, don't turn around, don't turn around. What are you doing? Keep looking forward. Alright, I'll let you slide, buddy. You can keep going. I'm gonna go out here. Yes, there we go. This has to be it. Alright, let's go to bring it down to 440p ultra settings, no DLSS, and see what we can get over there. Okay, and at 440p we are sitting at 100 FPS, but GPU is sitting at pretty much 75% usage, up to 85% usage in this area. I'm sure we can... Ooh, what? Shotgun what? Oh, okay, we're getting chased. What are you doing, buddy? The game looks much better at 4K as you would expect, but 440p still looks incredibly sharp and really good. Why is he following us? I'm just gonna go. What a little rat, man. Come on, let's go. Let's see where this leads us. Shh, he's right there, you know. He's gonna hear you. Ah, okay, down here, I guess. Falling into the 60s, the CPU is struggling heavily in this area, man. Dude. This is rough. Alright, in this area right here, GPU is fully maxed out and we're sitting at 100 FPS pretty much. Yep. So at the end of the day, it all depends on where you are and what you're doing. In some areas, it will be far more CPU intensive than GPU intensive, so your FPS will fall down depending on your CPU. So for example, over here, we're getting a fully utilized GPU sitting at 95% or almost a fully utilized GPU and FPS is pretty much at 120. But if I come down here into this tunnel, into the subway system, FPS should fall down into the 90s and 80s if I was going to guess. There'll be heaps of AI and it will just be far more CPU intensive. I'm running it through. Here we go. Let's wait for the big reveal. There we go, sitting in the 80s slash 90s. GPU sitting at 80% usage and CPU is up to 90% almost, which is crazy. So this area again, far more CPU intensive than it is GPU intensive, so we can't hold a consistent FPS. So yeah, overall this game runs pretty great. We do get some stuttering occasionally. But for the most part, it is a smooth experience. Just make sure you have half enough CPU, or you will get bottlenecked quite heavily at 440p and even 4K if you got an older CPU. But on my system, at 4K, I'm getting 60 FPS up to 90 FPS depending on where I am. DLSS, I can get up to 100 FPS pretty much. And at 440p, I'm sitting at 60 FPS is the lowest CPU bound, and up to 120 FPS as well. With DLSS, I can get 130 and 140 FPS, but that's kind of rare. Um, and yeah, overall, great experience. Hopefully it gets patched and it gets more optimized on the CPU side. And the game should get even better at that point. But that's pretty much it. Thank you guys for watching. Hope you guys enjoyed. And I'll catch you guys tomorrow for more The Last of Us. See you guys there.